Purdue had made it all the way to the NCAA championship this year, but they ended up losing their matchup to UConn. That's where Coach Husky Nation comes in, as he's going to take over Purdue and look to win them a national championship. Headed into season one, we were ranked number six in the nation and were projected to finish second in the Big Ten Conference. We were invited to the Maui season tip-off to begin year one, and this team was pretty set across the board for players, so we added some of the top recruits in the nation to our board, which included shooting guard Tanner Buckner and point guard Ray Goodman. We would win our first game of the year against Arkansas, but surprisingly would drop our next game of the season to Marshall. Despite that loss, five-star power forward Jared Barber signed with us early on, and we would bounce back with a first-round victory in our preseason tournament against West Virginia, and would follow that up with a second-round victory against Oklahoma State. We then found ourselves in the championship game against Kentucky, which we would easily win to get off to a good start in Season 1. That preseason tournament victory also landed us five-star shooting guard Tanner Buckner, and we were now headed into conference play in Season 1, as our first loss would come to Michigan at home. After the first month of conference play, we were sitting in fifth place of the conference, and we would unfortunately lose out on four-star point guard Ray Goodman. Despite that, we'd finish second in our conference in Season 1, and would open up the Big Ten tournament with an easy victory over Indiana, and would follow that up with a semifinal victory over Minnesota, which would lead us to defeating Michigan State in the Big Ten Championship. That win would lock us up the second seed in the NCAA South region, where we easily handled St. Peter's in the first round, and followed that up with another blowout victory in the second round. We would pick up another double-digit victory over Cal in the Sweet 16, as that win would send us to the Elite Eight in Season 1, where we would ultimately fall to the number one seed, Tennessee. We would wrap up Season 1 by officially signing our two five-star recruits, and since we were losing quite a few of our key starters this offseason, we had some positions I wanted to address in the offseason. We would go after five-star power forward Nigel Tupai, five-star shooting guard Oren Woodward, and four-star center Aaron Bragg. Unfortunately, Nigel Tupai would sign with Georgia Tech, and we would lose out on Oren Woodward to Butler of all schools, but we would at least sign the four-star center Aaron Bragg. All three true freshmen would be starting for us headed into season two, so we made sure to load up on training the starters for them. With a very young lineup, we were expected to finish seventh in the Big Ten this year, but despite that grim outlook, we were still ranked number seventh in the preseason top 25 polls. We opened up season two with a close win against Jacksonville State, and with only one scholarship available, we went after Ty Fields, the number one recruit in the nation, and we would end up signing him in the very first month of the season. We would end non-conference play with a 10-4 record, and headed into conference play, we had fallen all the way down to number 23. Freshman Tanner Buckner was our leading scorer, averaging 17.4 points per game, and his fellow freshman Jared Barber wasn't far behind from him, as well as our true freshman center, Aaron Bragg. Our first month of conference play in season two wasn't great, as we would go four and five in the month of January, but February was a bit better for the Boilermakers, as we would finish season two with a nine and seven conference record, and since we didn't have a first round bye, we'd have to defeat Northwestern in the first round of the Big Ten tournament, but would then unfortunately lose to Michigan in the second round. Despite the early exit, we still got an eight seed in the East region, and our first round matchup against Vanderbilt was no challenge for us at all. Unfortunately, our second round matchup was against the undefeated Big Ten Conference champs, and they handled their business pretty easily against us. Despite the step back this season, we did have the number one recruit in the country joining us next season, but with our starting point guard leaving, we needed to find a new one. So we would go after Jared Shepard, the number two ranked point guard in the country, and he would sign on the dotted line to come play for us, as he was our new starting point guard headed into season three, which we had a bit higher expectations for than last season. We only had one scholarship available this season, so we were going after four-star small forward Ben Bowen, and I can't lie, this team was looking really good to start season three. Our true freshman point guard Jared Shepard looked really good in his debut, and we would open up our season with an absolutely dominant win. We would then find ourselves in the Old Spice Classic Championship, and taking on a North Carolina State team who couldn't hit a shot against us to save their lives, as we would easily walk away with a preseason tournament championship. That early season tournament run was enough to get Ben Bowen to sign on the dotted line, and we'd close out the month of November with another follow-up win against North Carolina State, and we were headed into the month of December at an undefeated 8-0, and and were ranked number three in the country. Our hot streak would continue as we would only take a single loss all month of December to a tough Clemson team, and we were getting ready for Big Ten Conference play sitting at 13-1. and Unfortunately, our great play we had so far this year did not translate into the first month of conference play, as we went a measly 6-4 and four in the first month. Thankfully, we turned things around with an undefeated record in February, and that was enough for us to win the Big Ten regular season title. We would take care of business with our first round matchup against Northwestern, and with a 24-point victory over Ohio State in the semifinals, we found ourselves in a Season 1 Big Ten Championship rematch against Michigan State, which we would barely squeak out.
out a victory with a two point win over them and in turn once again got a number two seed in the NCAA tournament. Our first round game was an absolute blowout but the second round against Memphis was a bit closer. After a seven point victory against Villanova in the Sweet 16, we once again found ourselves in the Elite Eight going up against number one Kentucky. This was a very close game as we were closing in on the Wildcats with less than 30 seconds to go and after we came up with a huge defensive stop against them, we had a chance to advance to the final four on this last shot from Buckner but it was no good and our season would once again end to Kentucky in the Elite Eight. Our only recruit we signed this year was four star small forward Ben Bowen and thankfully we weren't losing too many key players from our roster. In offseason recruiting we would go after four star point guard Ben Williams and four star center Bobby Frank who would both sign on the dotted line to come play for Purdue and would help give us a second place projected finish in the Big Ten for season number four. Season four started out in the Maui preseason invitational and after a second round victory over Georgia Tech we found ourselves in yet another preseason tournament championship game where we would easily defeat Butler to win the Maui Invitational. That tournament win would also secure us two top five recruits in the nation and we would cap off an undefeated start to the season and would follow it up with only one loss in the month of December and for the first time ever we're ranked number one in the country headed into conference play. The Boilermakers hot play continued throughout January as we went undefeated and would finish the season 13-3 to win the Big Ten regular season title yet again. After a close first round matchup to Ohio State in the conference tournament, we would easily handle Michigan State in the semifinals and then would cruise to victory over Indiana in the conference championship, which would lock us up our first ever one seed in the NCAA tournament this rebuild. Our first round matchup was not a problem for us as we would follow that up with a 14 point victory over Memphis and after a 17 point victory over Georgetown, we once again found ourselves in the Elite Eight. We would finally break the streak of us losing in the Elite Eight and now had a final four matchup against Villanova, a team in which we easily handled earlier in the season. Things weren't looking good for the Wildcats with less than 40 seconds to go as they got it down to within 10 but their comeback efforts weren't enough as we managed to hold them off in the final few minutes of this game and we were headed to the national championship where we would be taking on the 33-4 and four Texas Longhorns. We had a double digit lead with just over a minute to go in this game but Texas was fighting their way back and they had started to intentionally foul us. After knocking down all our free throws and one more clutch shot, we had finally accomplished our goal. We had not only taken Purdue all the way to the national championship, but we had finally won it all for the Purdue Boilermakers.